WPBF 25 News at 6 starts with breaking news. That breaking news here at 6 at Palm Beach County Judge releases grand jury records, which included hundreds of documents and audio recordings from a long closed sex crimes investigation of the late Jeffrey Epstein. Today, a new state law went into effect allowing for the release of those records after more than a decade. They contain nearly 200 pages, including the testimony of a young girl who says she was encouraged by an older friend to visit Epstein's Palm Beach mansion. She said she would get money for massages. Good evening, I'm Felicia Rodriguez. I'm Todd McDermott. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. Our investigative reporter, Terry Parker, has been covering this story since the very beginning. She's been going through everything the judge made public, and Terry, the judge has some strong words for what was found in that transcript. Todd, Judge Luis Delgado says in his order, the details in the record would be outrageous to decent people. And he's talking about the horrifying sexual abuse Jeffrey Epstein committed against underage girls. But also what we can see in what was presented to the grand jury is hard to believe under today's lens. A prosecutor who repeatedly questions the victim witnesses about their own behavior, morals and motives, and seems to brush off Epstein's horrendous and criminal behavior. For 16 years, these records were kept secret, shielding the evidence actually presented against Jeffrey Epstein until lawmakers passed the bill authorizing their release. The information will be somewhere between surprising and shocking. The records show prosecutors called only five witnesses, three investigators and two victims, one who was only 14 when she was first enticed to Epstein's mansion. The girls testified how, while they were underage high school students, Jeffrey Epstein paid them for massages but sexually abused them repeatedly, including two who were raped. But prosecutor Lana Belalovic quickly moved to questioning the girls as though they were on trial, asking one, you understand you, in effect, were committing prostitution yourself? Belalovic brought up their MySpace accounts, asking an investigator, and does her website also include pictures of her in skimpy attire, drinking alcohol, and sexually provocative photos, photos she then produced to the grand jury. Belalovic asked the girls about their piercings, drinking beer, and shoplifting histories, asking one, you've had problems with drugs, haven't you? When jurors had a chance to question the victim, they seemed to follow Belalovic's lead, one asking, do you have any idea deep down inside of you that you, what you're doing is wrong? Victim, yeah, I did. Belalovic also seemed to make allowances for Epstein, asking one investigator, so he didn't make her do anything she was uncomfortable with? One juror did jump in to defend the teenagers, saying, perhaps you were too young to be up against a man of that age who had more control over you and that you knew. Yes, do you feel it's wrong of him to take advantage of your youth? Yes, I do. And did he take away from your person, your being, your spirit? Yes. Why did the prosecutors seem to blame the underage victims? At the time of the Epstein grand jury, the state attorney was Barry Krischer, who brokered the plea deal with Epstein's powerful lawyers. Two minor charges of solicitation of prostitution and an 18-month work release sentence. Even taking the case to a grand jury was an unusual move Krischer's office had not ever done before in a sex crimes case. I reached out to Krischer and have not heard back. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.